If you are using Blender for ArcViz, interior design, maybe architectural modeling or visualization, Vanilla Blender alone is probably not gonna cut it, or at least it is not gonna be really that fast for your liking. So today, I brought you guys a bunch of Blender add-ons that focus on the modeling aspect in your workflow, in addition to some other tools that can help indirectly. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with the Construction Lines add-on, which is all about adding SketchUp-like CAD drafting experience to Blender's modeling workflow. So why is this add-on important? Well, you get tools to create guidelines, points, and primitive shapes precisely in the viewport, which greatly helps accurate modeling. For example, you can draw a guideline at an exact distance or angle, create a guideline intersection point, and then snap other geometry to those references. You see, it allows you to draw 2D shapes, like rectangles, circles, arcs, or even just freehand lines, and you can do that directly in place of your model with real-time snapping to things like vertices, midpoints of edges, face centers, etc. And as you draw, if you close a loop of lines, it can automatically create faces for you, or intersect with existing geometry, splitting faces where appropriate. And importantly, you can enter numeric input for distances or use expressions to get exact measurements. So as you can see, it provides a lot of traditional CAD functionality like guides, precise snapping and measurements that Vanilla Blender simply does not have, which is incredibly useful for architectural modeling or any situation where you need these things. And many users with engineering or architectural backgrounds could write at home with this add-on because it makes Blender much more useful in this regard. The next add-on I want to talk about is called Perspective Plotter, which is basically the answer to what if AppSpy was built directly into Blender. This is not a free add-on like FSpy, but it is much better. It lets you interactively match a camera to images inside Blender's viewport. As you can imagine, the add-on was inspired by FSpy's functionality, but eliminates the need to use a separate program, so everything is done inside Blender. But how does it work? Well, you load your background image in Blender, then using Perspective Plotter, you draw perspective guides directly over the image. And by the way, it supports 1 point, 2 point, or 3 point perspective modes. So as you place these guides for the axes, the camera in your scene adjusts in real time to fit the perspective defined by those lines. You can also set the scale by measuring something in the photo. And the add-on provides a measuring guide where you can say the distance between these two points should be 3 meters, for example. And it will scale the camera accordingly. A really neat feature is that perspective plotter actually lets you animate the camera solution. So you can keyframe the solved camera or even shift between different perspectives if you have a series of images. It also has quality of life perks like automatically matching the camera's focal length and sensor to the image aspect, flattening the horizon line if needed and letting you lock or freeze the guides once you've got a good solve so you don't accidentally move them. And one of the most popular Blender add-ons around this topic is Archipack, which you probably already know. It is basically a modeling add-on that provides a suite of parametric modeling elements, like walls, doors, windows, floors, roofs, stairs, etc., which you can add and adjust interactively in the 3D viewport. It offers lots of off-screen controls. For example, you can draw walls and then tweak their length and angle, and you can do that on the fly. And windows and doors will cut openings automatically. The add-on was inspired by the older Archimesh add-on, but it greatly expands the feature set with things like floor plan generation, roofs builders, and even a handy kitchen cabinet generator. One thing to note is that the add-on is free, but the full feature set requires the paid version or the pro version because the base version is free but limited, so some advanced tools are behind a paywall. Also, a few users find the workflow a bit clunky if they aren't coming from a dedicated CAD software. The included parametric assets can be somewhat basic in detail, meaning you might need to replace or refine them for final renders, but overall, for blocking out architectural environments directly in Blender, Archipack is extremely handy, especially if you invest the time getting familiar with it. CAD Sketcher, on the other hand, is a really exciting add-on that brings some cut style precision drawing into Blender. It is essentially a constraint-based 2D sketching tool inside Blender. 
you can sketch shapes like lines, arcs, circles, etc. And then set up geometric constraints on them like you would in a parametric CAD program. You can do things such as defining exact dimensions, equal lengths, tangencies, angles, and so on. And the good thing with this add-on, after you create a constraint to the sketch, you can convert it into a 3D mesh or curve. And under the hood, it uses geometry nodes and modifiers, so the results stay editable. This is amazing for things like technical designs or 3D painting, where you need exact measurements and the ability to tweak the radius or length later without remodeling. Now, because Blender isn't originally built for CAD, the add-on is still in its early days, but it is focusing on getting the core sketch and constraint system robust. It may not yet have all the fancy constraints of something like SolidWorks, for example, but it is still great. It requires getting used to, but the upside is huge. So if you are used to parametric modeling, this add-on opens the door to integrate the workflow into Blender. The developers even have a roadmap for adding more features in the future updates. Now we're going to talk about Archimesh. Archimesh, as you may know, is a classic free add-on included in Blender by default, which focuses on quick creation of architectural elements. It allows you to easily generate things like room walls, doors, windows, and even some furniture like kitchen cabinets with a few clicks. Essentially, Archimesh provides a pre-modeled building blocks. For example, you can add a pre-made door or window and adjust its parameters, including height, width, style, and so on, rather than modeling it from scratch. It is generally great for creating an interior layout or basic architectural structures without extensive modeling skills. However, it is a bit of an older tool and hasn't seen major updates in a while, so it is a bit rough on the edges, and I personally suggest using Archipack if you can afford it. Another free add-on is Home Builder, which is geared towards designing interior spaces, with a strong focus on kitchens, closets, and bathrooms. It comes with a great library of cabinets, appliances, doors, windows, and other fixtures, which you can simply drag and drop into your scene, and items will snap intelligently to walls and even cut openings automatically when necessary. There's also a convenient wall drawing tool that lets you sketch out rooms by clicking points, and you can input exact dimensions as you draw, making it easy to lay out an interior floor plan. Once your walls are in place, you can populate the room with cabinetry and furniture, and you can do that from the add-ons library. For example, kitchen cabinets will snap together and against walls in a logical way. And right-click context menu on each asset gives you the options to customize its style or dimensions, like changing door styles, materials, etc. The add-on is still actively developed. So one limitation is that Home Builder is very specialized. It shines for kitchen and interior layouts, but it is not a general building modeler, so it won't automatically create roofs or exteriors just as an example. Also, because it is not focused on modular units, you might find it less useful if your design is very custom or freeform. Last but not least, we're going to talk about building tools, which is another free add-on aimed at fast creation of building exteriors. So, it lets you block out entire buildings with multiple floors in just few operations. The typical workflow is to create a 2D floor plan in Blender's edit mode using the add-ons tool panel, and then with a few clicks, you can extrude it into walls and slabs. From there, you can interactively add architectural features. You can insert doors and windows, which get cut out of the walls automatically, in addition to balconies and staircases, and you can even generate roofs with a chosen pitch. So it basically automates the tedious parts of making a building shell, but you can also draw or outline the shape, and the building tools will handle the bulk of construction, complete with consistent wall thickness and placeholder components. I think this makes it great for early stage design, in addition to level prototyping or creating background buildings for scenes. And here is a fun fact. The island was originally inspired by 3ds Max's plugin called Ghost Town which is useful for game asset creation and quick archivist needs. The main advantage here is speed, but the buildings you get are somewhat generic and may require additional editing for unique details, but this is really great for a free add-on. And there you have it, guys. If you like these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.